Hello guys, S2W here as your average consumer with your casual consumers review. For this pickup, I didn't really intend to grab it, reason being is that I already have the first and highly regarded as the best colorway of this model. Here in Canada, this shoe launched on the same day as the Adidas Multicolor Ultra Boost 3.0 and as you probably know, I personally went for those myself but my friend was able to grab this pair for me and I didn't have the time to pick them up till today so this review is a week late. But nonetheless, this is the Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 LTD Limited in the triple black colorway that I have here for a review. Stock wise here in Canada, there was about 120 pairs online available. About 25 to 30 pairs more than the Multicolor Ultra Boost 3.0 that dropped at the same time. I think all sneaker boutiques that had the Multicolor here for sale in Toronto had these 3.0 triple black as well. This regarding collabs in the Uncaged Ultra Boost, Correct me if I'm wrong, but this Triple Black 3.0 I think was the 4th model of the Triple Blacks amongst the Caged Ultra Boost, the 3rd version in the 3.0 silhouette. The first being the much anticipated Ultra Boost 1.0 knit model that I have also made a review last year, so check that out if you haven't. While the other two being Triple Black 3.0 Ultra Boosts released earlier this year in 2017. One having a brighter grey stripe knit pattern with a translucent cage, which to me was not truly Triple Black at all, while the other one has a Core Black 3.0 Ultra Boost upper with a non-see-through cage. Both of these shoes were never officially sold in Canada, besides one boutique that had a translucent cage one I believe. This new triple black iteration that I have today isn't much of a huge difference from one of the prior colorways honestly. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at these sneakers. Because I have not seen the previous two Ultra Boost 3.0 triple blacks in person, I'm basing this on observations from online pictures. From what I've noticed, this new 3.0 triple black looks the same to me as the triple black that had the core black 3.0 upper with an opaque cage. Well, besides one thing which I'll mention in just a second. As you can see here, the upper is the familiar Ultra Boost 3.0 upper in the core black colorway. It has a black base upper with dark grey broken stripes running across the shoe. The knit is called Prime Knit, which is excellent for its elasticity, lightweight property, and breathability. This 3.0 Prime Knit I feel is the thinnest and most free-forming from the Ultra Boost models because it's not a constricting shoe at all, unlike the 1.0 and 2.0 models. Because this is the caged version, you will see both the lateral and medial sides sporting an external plastic cage with eyelets at the top. So when you tie up the flat black laces that came with this shoe, the cage will tighten up as well locking down our feet. The cage here is non-see-through, which is something different than the translucent cages found on regular 3.0 models. Moving a little bit more upwards, the shoe offers a beefed up cushion tongue just like all 3.0 models with 3M reflective adidas logo for extra branding. Near the back of the sneaker, we will see the heel counter of this shoe, a standard ultra boost heel cup that helps with securing a stable fit and lockdown while wearing them, but different from regular ultra boost and the only difference from the previous triple black ultra boost silhouette, this model used a tougher plastic material to construct this component. This is the same material used on the Tech Rust Ultra Boost 3.0 heel cup that I've made a review earlier too. Some of you guys have told me that's made from 3D printing, which I'm actually not surprised, but quite fascinated really, because it does feel a lot harder and presumably more durable and scratch proof than the regular plastic heel counters. Also for the heel tab lovers, at the back of the shoes, the caged variant of these Ultra Boost offer this detailing for an easy slip on fit. One of the kicker for this shoe is the painted cushioning of this midsole. Boost technology is Adidas' famous cushioning known for its compressive capabilities, like walking on soft marshmallows, yet springy enough to push our feet back up. Boost at its original state is white, but seeing a trend in the creativity of the sneaker community, Adidas followed suit and released versions with painted midsoles, increasing the overall price of each pair at the same time and labeling each as limited as well. Smart of them to do as a company, they get to earn more and there will always be people like me who wouldn't know what to do with paints. Inside the shoe, like all Ultra Boost, these came with removable insoles. The insoles that came with this shoe is in black with silver Ultra Boost text branding at the heel area just like the regular Core Black Ultra Boost insoles. Flipping over the insole, we will see a unique pattern layered in white. We will also see the familiar felt light layer of fabric that separates our feet from the Boost midsole. With Boost windows that you can see the unfinished and faded paint job that makes it seem like it's basically black spray paint. The inner lining around the ankle area is very plush as well, enhancing the overall comfort and cushioning around the Achilles. Flipping over the shoes, we have the same continental rubber outsole with superb traction on both surfaces. While for additional support and steadiness, there is a torsion system bar at the midfoot area that makes the shoe a lot more stable. Anyways, here are some Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 LTD in the triple black colorway fit footage. 
Fit-wise, I went true to size, which is what I prefer on 3.0 Ultra Boost models because their knit is looser, and these fit fine to me. I do feel them a little bit more snug for some reason, but it wasn't detrimental or anything. Ordering your regular 3.0 size should be fine. For reference, I prefer 1.0 and 2.0 Ultra Boost half size up. Comfort wise, they feel much like any regular 3.0 Ultra Boost, the comfiest Ultra Boost you can possibly get if you're looking for a walking shoe. Great for running as well, which is what it's originally designed for. Price wise, these were LTD, also known as Limited. So these were priced at $260 before tax here in Canada. Almost every Boost painted sneaker is sold $20 more here in Canada, so you gotta pay the price for Adidas to paint it for you. In my personal opinion, Ultra Boost in the triple black colorway wise, I have to say, the best still goes to the Ultra Boost 1.0. Reason being is that if you disregard the bottom boost portion, which is not painted in every triple black model anyway, the whole knit upper, cage, heel cup, lacing, boost material is exactly all black. No grey color, no white, just plain black. All these variants of quote unquote triple blacks that came out, they're just an ultra boost with a black painted midsole and partially black base upper with some form of grey color on them. The upper here has grey stripes and even the laces with the second look now has some grey pixelated graphics on them. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining but the one and only triple black in my record book has to be the 1.0s because for that sneaker, you're literally getting an all black colorway while these are more like consolation prizes I feel. If you're a Canadian, then this doesn't really apply because the other 3.0 triple blacks never released here. But this model here only changed the heel cut material from one of the previous triple black style. If you already bought the one with the regular matte style heel cup triple black, this really isn't much of a pickup unless you want to double up on a triple black, or you're a collector I guess. Because I already have the 1.0 version, these 3.0 to me doesn't even come close. But when you look on it at its own, these are definitely a nice silent sneaker to be added into the rotation. As always, throw me some likes if you like this video and let me know in comments if you have or have yet to own at least one triple black ultra boost, whether it's a collab or even the uncaged ultra boost. Do you think this colorway is just hype now or do you think they actually look dope and hoping more to come? I personally think the colorway is dope, but not a colorway you need a lot of. And since painting the boost is not my forte, yet at least, the triple blacks on these caged ultra boosts can easily look pleasant and quietly fashionable. That's it for today. S2W signing off.